Hello, Gemini. This is Renee, and uh, welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your support. This reading will be what to expect for 2023. What is coming next for Gemini? What can they expect in 2023? We're going to go ahead and take some tarot and then we are going to look at some oracles. Um, this is the new, this is a new deck. This is the Spellcasters Tarot deck. Okay, we have the Knight of Wands. Hold on, take a look at that card. Isn't that beautiful? The Knight of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like, you know what, Gemini? I feel like you are really opening your creativity, your creativity. You have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, I feel like, you know what, this Ten of Wands and this Knight of Wands, um, this may have to work with, have to do with work. Yes, you have the Knight of Pentacles as well. Okay. Yeah, this may be your career. Um, but Gemini, I feel like, I feel like you're opening up to a lot of new creative ideas. And this might lead to a new position. It might lead to more responsibility in whatever it is that you're doing. But I feel like, you know, um, with this situation, I feel like you are really building on something that's going to gain you a lot of abundance. This is going to increase your income. This is going to work to your favor. Definitely. You have the Four of Swords. So, with the force, okay, now, see, we also have the High Priestess and the Two of Swords. Okay, let's get some more cards now before we dive deeper into this because the Spirit wants to let the cards flow, so we're going to let them flow. We have the Four of Cups. We have the moon. Okay. We have the six of cups. And we have the chariot. Okay. What we don't see on the bottom is the three of swords, Gemini. So, you know what? I feel like, you know, whatever this is, I feel like if this is career related, I feel like you're going to move into something that causes you to have more responsibility, causes you to really be approached, really be looked at. I feel like you are really being recognized for all the effort that you make. And I, it, it could increase your income. Uh, this could be a, a, a jump to your income here with this knight of pentacles um because they see how patient you are in the situation they see how you're a reliable worker how you really take hold of a idea and just run with it and i feel like that's you gemini um you have the four of swords and the high priestess so with the four of swords and the high priestess i feel like you know what you are really trusting in your abilities you you have a quick recovery because you trust in your intuition because you are understanding everything that needs to be done so 
that puts you in a position to really really renew your ideas this also could be you trusting yourself more this year I feel like you're putting in a lot of work towards your spiritual side towards rejuvenation towards taking care of yourself I feel like you are being more health conscious this year in 2023 very interesting Gemini very interesting okay now we have the two of swords and the four of cups You know what? I feel like, you know what? You are making choices. You are making the hard choices to pursue something that you love. You feel like whatever gifts that you have, you don't want to go unnoticed. So you're making the hard choices to pursue a path that maybe only you believe in. This could be you diving into some kind of spiritual work. Maybe you want to be a life coach. Maybe you want to be some kind of spiritual leader, yoga instructor, or Rike. But I feel like, you know what, the people around you don't understand what it is you want to pursue and I feel like you you trust yourself enough to make these hard choices without anybody else's influence and that's how I'm feeling with this moon energy and the six of cups I feel like this is a gift that you want to give yourself this is something that that whatever it is in 20 in 2023 you're going to pursue and I feel like this is going to be a push in the right direction for you this is going to bring some sort of change and it'll probably be a change to your family a change to the structure um, once the changes are more noticeable. I feel like people are going to recognize you. You're going to bring people together within your circle. Does that make sense? But I feel like it's coming together. Um, maybe you're going to have some sort of get together or reunion this now for a certain few of you I feel like this may be someone this may be a warning of someone coming in from the past but I feel like that's only for a very few of you someone from the past wants to change your perspective about something that they did They want to right a wrong that they did to you. That's for a very few of you. I don't think that's going to resonate with everyone. Now you have the chariot. So I feel like you are moving into a destined space. You're moving in the direction that the universe wants you to move in. And I feel like you're flowing. Um this could also be you literally moving literally seeing the world going on a new destination going on a trip taking a vacation in 2023 finally taking the time to really pursue what you want and enjoy yourself but this is you moving into this destination very interesting, Gemini. 
Okay, let's get some cards to clarify. Let's clarify the situation for Gemini. What is coming? What is the outcome for 2023 for Gemini? The Emperor, definitely. If this is work-related, like I said, you are a boss. You are bossing up. You're taking total control of the situation. You are being a true leader. You're finding the strategic ways to win, and you're enjoying it. The emperor, he's very prosperous. He's very wise. He's very intelligent. He's, he thinks with his head, not only with his heart. And he's very business oriented. He's the ruler. Okay. And we have a queen of pentacles. So definitely, definitely more pentacles here. So you know what? You're, you're using all of your resources. You are using all of your resources and you are using your knowledge with, you know, the Queen of Pentacles. She's very intuitive as well. She knows just where to invest. She knows just where to to look for what she needs. And I feel like that's you in 2023, Gemini. You know exactly where to look to find what you need. Yes. Yes. You have that spark. You definitely have that spark, that life. This is your, you really seeing your life force. And I feel like you're bursting with that magic, Gemini. You're bursting with that creative power, that inspiration. And I feel like whatever it is that you're creating is just huge. Yes, and you have the chariot again. So you are definitely moving. You're definitely moving in the right direction. Um, like I said, this could be you literally, okay? This could be you literally moving. Literally moving. And we have the six of wands and the ace of swords. So yes, not only do you have a new beginning in creativity, that spark, you also have the knowledge to do whatever you believe is right. This is a new beginning, new thought processes, new ideas, that new um, viewpoint coming into your view. Um, this is you starting this new beginning. Six of Wands, Ace of Wands, the Chariot, the Emperor. This, this is huge, Gemini. You are a total boss. You... This reading right here, the outcome, in 2023, you are going to be totally and utterly unstoppable. This is you really showing your stuff. You are definitely showing your stuff here. You ain't playing no games, Gemini. You see what you want and you are truly going for it. All or nothing. And when I say all or nothing, I mean you are gaining everything. Impartiality. Okay, you don't see it now. You don't see it now, Gemini. But the decision that you make, you have the two of swords and impartiality. These are decisions. These are choices. Pay attention to your decisions. Pay attention to the choices that you take in life. These are the choices that are going to take you into your destiny. And don't be insecure about your situation. Because what you don't see on the bottom is by defeating these insecurities... What you don't expect to see is your total joy, total happiness, total fulfillment. Be bold, be fearless. 
go into this e this year like a spark like a, a piece of dynamite ready to explode into the new year gemini because that's exactly what you are you're gonna make this year just totally explode with abundance yes you have a burst of magic that's exactly what i was just saying you are a burst of magic gemini and your power of purpose these are the wheels of change that are flowing in your direction and they're going to bring abundance wealth happiness joy and at the bottom you have opening to discovery yeah i feel like you're discovering a great deal at this moment i feel like you are if the ideas aren't flowing to you yet, Gemini, they will. They will. Just have patience. Have faith in the universe. Follow your guide. Let's get an architect card for Gemini. Let's get an architect. Okay, we'll take this one. The poet. Okay. Yeah, I you know what with the poets, this may be your thoughts really flowing. You know, with poetry, poetry flows into the next paragraph or it flows into the next verse. And I feel like with this poet card, I feel like you are flowing into this next year. You are flowing like a <laughs> like like nature I want to say like a freak of nature because I mean this is an amazing reading this is truly amazing and I feel like whenever you go through any challenges Gemini look deeper new moon and Scorpio go deeper and the answers are going to come to you whatever challenges that you go through Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and take these two. Okay. You have full moon and Leo. And it may be a Leo that's going to help you shine. Because both of these cards are Leo. We have full moon and Leo. Go wild. Show your wild side. And new moon and Leo. Just shine. Just shine. Okay, Gemini, that is your reading for 2023. And it is a beautiful, magnificent scent reading. I feel like you, this new year is going to be totally life changing for you. You're going to learn new things. You're going to have new ideas. You're going to totally act upon them with the chariot card twice. You have the chariot twice and also the power of purpose. So, I, you know, you are coming in your own, Gemini. Be bright. Be bold. Be fearless going into this new year. Lose those insecurities that may be holding you back. Okay, that's what I have for you, Gemini. Happy New Year. Many blessings to you. And love and light.